Vitality will see if they continue that trend of getting off to hot starts. Governor really overextended himself. You can tell how badly he wanted that first kill and maybe a bit of a read into the minds of these players. Gives it up though. Ban's now going to be under all that pressure with a dart to his back. He does deal with it nicely and still a smoke to play in and out of. Weaving through, but kicks. He just dominates it. Overwhelms it. Prowler up into his face. Can't be played up off. And everybody's trading, coming through and out. It's a 3v1. It's what Primi's been delivered here. I'm asked to do so much in this spot. Man down, but already catching the contact. I guess in theory against the deadlock, one could one could look back at the game against Trace and argue that they didn't do so well, <laughs> but that's just another piece of learning data. They definitely went back and heavy VOD reviewed their loss to Trace. And it was a bit of an understatement, I think, to say that this is going to be an uphill battle for Talon. It's got a at that because Vitality, you know, they're very comfortable on this map. You look at Talon's comp, you see a lot of trap play potential, I think, with C's, Nades, grab nets, Cam to take the contact to set up most of it, but Vitality playing their own game, taking it nice and slow. Mid control fully conceded up here, so Talon have access to it, but... This is a little similar to what they were doing in previous rounds on Lotus, where uh, they've actually managed to get the stack right this time, though. This could yeah, be different. And this could be dangerous. Knife. Okay, so the tag's not too sure of that one. Still, the wall's going to be up. Grab net down. Nade rebounds alongside the paranoia. Safe, you cannot get out of there. Your movement ability going to be saving you from that onslaught. And now forced to back away. Vitality, 34 seconds. They have none of that prior map control here. It's Sender who's going to be tested. 30 seconds. Up through, there's a smoke towards him. Plenty of targets lying in wait. It's all about how you overcome it. And with the Bulldog in hand, swats down. Any players that might be just trying to offset him, and he's even going walkabouts himself. He could donate a gun. And with the noise made, Ban, yep, responds by taking him out. Kicks, though, still with that plant down, and it has landed themselves into a three versus three. G Boys is going to run back to pick up the Spectre, so they're going to be a little late to start this retake, but they've actually got the weapon advantage. As absurd as that is. Primi's going walkabouts, but he does have a player at his back. Chip Boys alongside him, holding it. Runner with a jump spot, just seeing him, now knows. These players are walking out here, running away in the danger zone. Certainly, ah, yet still shot to the dome. Jip boys dropped and away. Primi sidestepping. Knows that his players have, but needs to wait for his teammates back up as well. But Ban is just getting, he needs to get a move on, to be honest. Time is of the essence. Primi, he does put a few bullets back into them. Still that turn. I mean, the circle is going to be retreating. It's already done. The time? The round's lost. Yes, it is. It's only Sender, though, that's buying up in this round. The rest uh, still taking it as a bonus. Mm, it's paranoia held here, Talon. So you can fight off of this one. Again, they've got the cam to take that contact with the shock dart into the corner. Grab net through with the swing, Jip boys. Finally rewarded. Nice. Play that's cooked up, Talon. They've got the advantage. That's the second round in a row that the grab net's been followed up on beautifully as well towards B main. Yeah, but it's all about converting it because Vitality will def default into these contact plays once more. And Cruz, perfect timing with the peak there. Send it. They're not quite trained properly. Rifle retrieved, kicks up through the gut. Now, might be laying siege here. This guy underhanded with the flashes. Dodged in time, but he can't survive the bullets. Cruz with him falling. Massive gaps into the play. 50 seconds to play with if you are Vitality. Once more, they could slow this down. They're going to need to if they want to reclaim the spike, but it's again contact re-clears. Talon are side by side. It's all about who wins this first fight out. Governor, he's there. Steady with... So, it's unheard of almost. Yeah, truly unbelievable stuff. But Talon doing a great job here of making sure that they get those advantages in the early rounds, and they do actually close one out. Like I said, it was Sender that forced in the previous round, so he's now got a stinger. And we're getting more aggression out of Talon. <laughs> Trying not to sit passively and let Sender just have his run over the game. Sender's just holding this area down, just with the stinger. He doesn't know on the other side of things what might be laying in wait. Primi, good to take that first contact with Trek's gonna be dropped as well. That's a seize out and through as well. Plenty of players left to be dropped here. And lovely work indeed. The knife just a little bit too delayed there, not enough to remove the rocket in time, and Primi will not be budged from this spot. That is lovely work. The reactions of this guy, the young gun that they brought in to shore up a bit of firepower, paying off. Vitality down. not getting away with the same funny business. The contact plays that were just completely opening up rounds that they should not have been winning. 
in theory shut down, but Kix does have the spike in his back pocket and an open side to play with. Left. He knows where roughly all three of the players are. But these are not bad situations to play. You hear the sound. Crix knows he's going to be coming towards him. Horn has dropped here up and over the top as well. Governor playing for his life and beautiful peaks. Beautiful spam damage just to supplement that. With a making sure that he doesn't give his life away unnecessarily. What a round from Primi too. It's not something that I got the opportunity to mention early on, but he's never played Rays in a professional beating. The, the attack win rates, the defense win rates, everything. And yet... And yet, actually, here we are. That is some tricky business to try and overcome here for the Talon players. Still, Governor stands strong. Kicks. Sheriff in his hands. He makes it sing. Only for the two kills before the trade is out and through here. And with a spike drop down, Safe has got to just try and wrap this one all the way behind them. It's not bad. He's put pressure on to get a Vandal into his hand just as his ult was running out. Or a Feft and Runner as well. They're going to know what these players are. Spots them out. So many disadvantaged positions that we've seen already on Sunset. We were seeing tons of them on Lotus. Vitality yet to win. I got Spike. So he picks up the spike. I'm out of here. Trip's going to be placed as well. It's going to be alerting Jit Boys. Yeah, I mean, breaking that instantly might have been the better angle there for Jit Boys, out. but he's worried. Yeah, backside control is going to be played. Hiding his time here, Jit Boys, even with the old as well to get that information up top onto the market box. Clears it, another safe is here. He wants to try and take the fight to him, but the Annihilation just trades it out equally. Still Runner is there. He's taking a fight. Could potentially break it out. No, wants to try and take this fight one-on-one. -on -one. No, okay, safe is alive and kicking. But still, plan for the back of the site now. Jit Boys already sends it flying with the Paranoia. Smoke up into his face, wins that first one. Knees the second time against him and just presses it forwards. Out of the smoke. Happy with how that one turned around, but also at a bit of a loss as to how they keep being able to win and kind of like clutch out these situations. Absurd, Down players. It's truly absurd. We keep harping on about it. Because it's so unusual. Yeah. Ban tagged up. We'll have to give up that space now. No command. Be emanating out as well. Pushing Talon back and away, but it does orchestrate pretty nicely. So they're trying to take here. Smoke's dissipating. Plant now finally down. You could default back into this B main angle, as we know and love. Or hate in most situations. <laughs> no flank. No push down mid. Very standard. And Trex even with an ult to work around. These spots are incredibly tough for the retakers to deal with. So Talon, they've saved most of their util for this one here. Still knife against the back wall. There's a grab that into it along with the nade into the corner. Cruz, he's sticking to the fuse. He's already got that half. Hunter's Fury has to be uploaded here and he needs to find value. Kills, lighting these players up and still a bound of damage is done. Primi already with that half, but spam down, sprayed down. And the gunplay doing the work. But not able to do it at the end either. Default early on by Vitality. Sender's going to be trying to catch that contact over towards Aim most of the time here. It's against the eco of Talon, but they are stacking this with enough players that I'm worried about the danger. Once more, Primi catching that contact and still swinging through and wide. He does just find the two, still safe. Wrangles the beast that is his rifle and just swiftly deals with any opportunity, any opponent. So, fans here. Let's find Runner up through mid into that 1v2. And he's That's going to give him a gun. Claimed a gun. No a chance. Yeah, he's got the info. He's going to know where these players are going to be trying to play. Trying to be quiet, threatening like he could have flanked, could be coming a main. But discipline from Vitality here. He's going to be steadying their hand. No one actually decided to take the contact onto this one, so Ban dropping the cage. The dart. Place the one. Okay, at least nicely here. Once more, another tap, Ban. He has forced that fight out into the wide open here. Safe, a lot to do. Ban sticking already. He's earned himself half, and that builds him. Wincon's time earned as well with the damage done to Safe. Surely, inevitability safe. My goodness. Just goes in a few of them are through a the smokes, and he might be getting caught here by an ult play. Yeah, Nader is back to the bullets through. Listen, a little bit of damage was necessary, I think, just to topple them over. They, they're doing a great job of following up on these grab nets. Everyone has been perfect from Governor on defense. Combo there with the raise nade. Again, Primi hasn't been playing raise in pro. Cruz looking for oh, a re-clear. Yep. 
And send it all to just contact him. Most of this way, Bando. It's an off angle to be played here. And Cruz, lovely with the movement. Survives but a moment to at least survive that fight and take it further forwards. Runner up through mid and He's been doing it every Contact time. reclearance. Runner's Nicely been going for that done. same thing every time. Yeah. Kicks up and over that flash. Very orchestrated and easy. It doesn't look like any level of aggression for now. Same old, same old, really. It is. But another spot where Primi can look to try to take contact, defend the ult orb, and if he gets pressured, try to take one, back up, use that ult. Very similar defensive protocols that we've seen before. Yeah, it's not entirely safe when there's a KO on the other side of things, but it takes a bit of coordination, I think, as well, to make sure he doesn't have any options. There's no way Primi is going for the peak. One player spams, and it makes him think that it's only the one play in there. Yeah, getting baited in. Vitality will one step ahead. And maybe there's that inexperience, I think, rearing its head. It doesn't matter about your mechanical ability. Those are the kind of plays that tiny in the micro. And at that the same, give you that advantage. At the same time, though, and Frost was talking about this in a press conference, Primi's so good, he can sometimes break those rules and just decide, I might get a 1v1 here if I play the angle well enough. Here comes Vitality through Market. And still, it's Cruz looking to lock this one down as well. Plenty more players where that came from with a dart. Drop down as well. He's going to try and deal with this one because Ban was hyper committed. Up onto the corner. Vitality have barreled over these players now. Up through the back of the side, and Orofet will reveal quite a lot in terms of these defensive setups. The flank? Yeah, it's being spotted. I mean, they know Governor's here as well. Trex is going to be able to spot that because of that Orofet from earlier. Now, Jit Boys, 45 health. Vandal in hand, but. A long shot away from trying to win this round out. Now, the plan isn't precisely against the wall. Could create openings for him, but the amount of plays he's got to get through with the flank already occurring as well. Trex is hotly on his tail. Can't even spam down a trip. Three bullets left. Doesn't even want to commit to that reload. Backs himself away around the corner. Again, Vitality not willing to really fight, but they'll take it. You do have to be worried to a degree as well with the KO. Most teams, if they're at least good on this map with their attacks by defaults, will be holding a knife just in case there is a showstopper play. Yeah, I mean, here you can see that Kix uses it in B main. The question is, are Talon are Primi thinking about that kind of stuff? And also, what's Chip Boy set up for here? Throwing the paranoia oh, through the tiles. The needs. My goodness, I mean, a few stray bullets right through the box is enough to get the job done at least there. No command through and out, dropping players, kicks down to his knees. Aldo overdrive, and Governor has added that perfect timing. Pre-aims it onto the corner as well. Safe just ran straight into him. Trex, bit of a bait and switch, taps it. He's trying to pull these players wide out into the open because he knows he needs that chance and advantage and it will not be there. But it looks like Vitality are trying to go into this showstopper. A real vital round at that. Round 11. They feign, at least at the beginning here. Vitality, like they want to try and make it an attempt to fight over towards the A site. Cleared out immediately by the Prowler. And now Vitality have to go and make more space in that direction. Now through the top section of mid, Primi, drone in his face. Paranoia 2 will push him back and away here. This is Talon trying to make a play happen. That's an annihilation, but it's wasted. Rebounds off the back wall. Cruz has somehow grabbed himself two kills in the mix of all of that. Just crossing up through mid. It was an open angle that wasn't smoked through the top of it. Vitality looking there to try to punish on the annihilation. Didn't realize perhaps that Talon had three players facing. And like you said, two go down. Another 5v3. Talon can't keep losing them. I'm not sure when, but Primi, he did offload that ult at some point. Yeah, looking to try to deny the space that the drone was taking, I would imagine. Grouping up by Vitality. This is looking like a very Three tough round for Vitality left. to it win. Is. They're going straight into the stack. Three players here looking to defend. Surely this is a win for Talon. Shock Dart only removes a portion of it. The grab net is beautiful, pushing past. And away, Governor trying to set themselves up for the fight. Doubled up, taking it. It's traded. Ban is there, leaving it down to just run it. Trying to isolate those fights out. But even if he won that one, that's... As we were praising Safe for being 11-4 and four earlier, he's now 11-8. and eight. Hasn't been able to find any kills after that eco round and the clutch. The entries are really going missing for Vitality today. Is there anything to set safe up here? Bring up on down. all sorts of angles here. Cruz, the Prowler catching that contact. He knows that this play is up through the top section of mid. Dodging most of the util coming his way alongside that Seize. It's a nightfall. 
Enough to offset potentially there. He's got the decay damage kicking in with the Hunter's Fury in the back pocket. Trex letting it loose. Talon going for the play. And you don't have your gun out. Primmy will happily make you pay. This guy unleashed now and flips the map. Takes a spike. Control now. Grabs it over towards them. It's Vitality. They're going to try and fight their way past this one. At least with the player advantage. There's three of them there. Cage up in their face. Here in the footsteps. Runner. Just about scurries away. Governor and Ban haven't taken too much space off the back of this. They're playing very cautiously through mid. They do not want to get caught by a Lurk, but it's given Vitality a ton of room to go and get that spike and get the plant down. It's an advantage, sure, but they haven't really turned those kills into left. a one round. And they're really not close yet. No. They're just playing with so much caution, trying not to overheat, trying not to make those same mistakes, but giving a ton of respect and a ton of space to Vitality. Sometimes, be to your own dismay, Jit boys. No way you commit that. He does indeed. The ult is straight there and through, and a player not into position to really play off of that one. Still, the grab net is beautiful and good, but it's no follow up. Still time. Kix is going to be able to just pull that tag right out of him. Shorty in to try and clear these angles. Three versus three. Util abound. Cage to get themselves in along with the Barry mesh as well, seeking to lock these players out and away. Governor, it's a tap. Enforcing out wide once more. Still alternating. Primi with three. Before he's dropped, Governor sticking half onto him, beam down, ban! Delivers that final blow, necessary onto the last two. Clash, looks like it could be occurring B main here. Nobody on Talon getting caught by that knife. Oh, and now they've just contacted right up behind this one, safe. It's alongside, they've got teammates in space, still the stun is going to be connected onto himself, and the nade rebounding. How the hell did you get out of there? What are you doing, safe? My god, there's no composure in sight. He just sits on it like a bloody egg. I mean, there's not much he could have done in that spot. The nade was pretty perfect to lock him into a corner. It's the stun that was bad and Vitality losing a player through mid as well and couldn't respond. Sender, he takes the space. Yeah, this is a little bit all over the place. I think Sender's looking for a noise cue now. To be a bit of a playmaker into the round, but he's sitting at 3 and 11 right now. Dire straights for him individually. And Tim and Runner are going to be asked to bail them out of this spot to keep that stellar pistol record intact. If Sender finds a good timing here, and Talon are thinking that it's a normal B retake coming from Boba, coming from Market. Significant chances. Chip Boys is so damn low. One shot will do him in. Sender spotted him out here. Not a lot of util to play with, but he's still going to be holding onto the corner. And he's landed it onto Primi. With him gone and dusted, the last two players are weak enough himself. Sender could just do this single handedly. And I said it needed to be big, and big it is, Cruz, though. Enough to bring it back to that 1v1. Smoke in his face, 25 health. And Spike still planted for him. Time pressure against him. And Sender just holding. Steady hand, spamming away. The ghost in play. He needs to make the most of this spot here with a horn to reveal. And Sender lit up like a beacon. Weaving in and out, the time is played to perfection. Cruz is tying with him. <laughs> and finally, it's Talon who earn a pistol round. First time in this match, an opportunity similar to when they played against Leviathan, and it looked like they were in the game and had a shot to win it. Now, they did end up choking that away a little bit. They lost all four rounds at the end of both maps, but they could see the finish line. Hopefully learning from that experience. I wanted to make the same mistakes twice because it's elimination. It's a tournament life on the line. A trap play Spike with great success. Down. It's offloaded here by Vitality. Earns him to kill, at least against Governor. Not too sure if he dropped a weapon. He should have done. I mean, it's only Ban that saved this round. So there should be something for Ban to pick up, but he's nowhere near. Look, he's exploring through mid now with Jit Boys, finding good timing onto Runner. Yep. But also dangerous positioning yeah. as well. Just spotting it out still. Ban to try and recover. Bloody hell, man. <laughs> he's on an absolute worldy right now. Still, he's going to be dropped by kicks. And also, right from behind. huge weaponry dropped, right? There's a weapon down over towards A main, unless they've juggled that away somehow. And there's also a weapon up there in connector, which Sender's quickly going to grab. Kicks is trying to get ahead of this one. He's going to hit his footsteps as well as an off angle. But it needs to be first shot accuracy on display. And it is Vitality. Recovery inbound with a knife tagging. Primi's position noted, spotted. Vitality. Defaulting back into that discipline. Doubled up into the high low. The tap forces them now. Creeping ever so closer to potentially that round win. Damage done and Brimmy just not aware that they were playing that one. Vast impact for Vitality today. He's been dominating. With the Sheriff too, he's had some big moments. He was part of 
how they managed to win a thrifty round with a player disadvantage in the first half. And Primi's been unfortunate in these clutches too. Trying to re-clear up through mid here. Yeah. Right about that, I mean Primi in the clutch. Maybe just again, you know, kind of that inexperience rearing itself onto the big stage because it's very different. Listen, clutch scenarios, the way you play them in ranked versus actual tier one play. Blinding. It is different. It's the reason the pro players are here. But it's also, in some sense, you know, unfair the amount that Talon even asks of him. Oh, for sure. Uh, Talon and all the Talon fan base expect Primi to be dropping like 30 every single map. Yeah, the community narratives is like this guy is just <laughs> God incarnate. It's and of course, he's very talented. He's exceptionally talented. I must wait a moment. But he's a ranked superstar that is still Cage getting they found my his feet wet in the pro scene. Yeah. Oh, he pump. has to clutch every round. Exactly. Got to pump the break with the expectations every now and then. Here, Talon thinking that they might have got themselves a free and open site. Shock darts Spine flying down. forwards as well with that rifle. Phantom and play runner is looking oh. nice with it. There's no ace in sight though. Ban could look to do a bit more damage as well. Just against the economy, time running short as well. Will need to open himself up from wide. That's unfortunate. Cover try and brute force their way past the initial A fight here. Primi just satchels all the way through. He's got the horn. At least to back him up. Gives him a bit of that peace of mind. So they earn the orb for now. Picks it up. My I like the stun that they place down as well, making it more difficult for Vitality to re-clear through elbow. Remember that this comp on the attack side has quite a little amount of initiator utility to work with. They don't have those flashes that you would normally see from KO or Breach. The sensor's being placed all over the place. Just waiting in case Vitality go for a re-clear. Yeah, Nate is good though. Just from the boom button of Paranoia, so it's going to be wasting that utility, pulling it out of Talon. Knife held. Anticipating a showstopper. Kix is not going to let Primi get away with that. This is all the right protocols right now from Vitality. I love this wall, though. Look at this wall that's blocking off safes rotate at this point. Making it feel like they could try to pivot into an A split. It's a showstopper and a fight as well. Looking to split their way through. Knife collected, and that's why he has had to see the showstopper with an early release here, yet still Talon are prevailing. With the gunplay and weaponry, Util out of the hands, kicks unable to land that punish. Underhanded with the nade as well, at least a flash still. Collects the one before the trade is online by Primi, still with that plant as well, Talon. They get that extension now into round 16. Slowing it down, you can take a pause and a breather, but Vitality now pushing forwards. They've got that dart, the timing taken by Primi, he's pushed past it. The Util unexpected and the spray transfer not hit. Leaves it down to Trex, unaware by Governor. But does he know that Primi's placed himself here towards the back of the site to clear this one? Fully unexpected! And there's those mechanics on display. The entry on a big team fight. Governor's one away from getting the annihilation. It is a tool that you can use to open up. Yeah, if you know the angles, right? Oh, sitting there, I'm going to be picking it up, so the ult earned, but, but the spike dropped down into the middle of nowhere. Paints us a nice little prick, uh, picture, I should say. The talent going to be trying to go into this one nice and slow. It's a good cam break as well. Runner's cam is good for re-clearing B main, good for retake situations as well, so Talon remove that. Now Vitality don't actually have too much information around the map, it's only A main. Zendo, you got to get the hell out of there, man. Still Annihilation rebounds. Nobody to be caught. On that little web here, ban up through mid, breaks the drone as well. It's going to be sowing a bit of misinformation, and if it does, at least keep these Vitality players a little bit tethered. Now the Nightfall collides and clashes into a multitude of players here. Vitality are going to have many sound cues. They don't want anything to do with it. Maybe just off the back of the trails, even connected. But Vitality didn't shift away from these sites. They still have a bit of control up through top section of mid. And onto B, kill trips to be played off of once more. Alt stuck, committed, sender, that's reinforcements that are now arriving onto this side. Fire Mesh is here, there's the kill trips, and Runner, happy to oblige, plays off it beautifully. Sender's there, still spraying away the Phantom in play. Out through main, nobody can hold a candle to these players right now, but still Talon might be able to battle the way through anyway. Eight seconds left, but they are all gonna fall in the end. And, yeah. Money's just never feeling like it's in a good enough spot ever since they lost the follow-up to the pistol. I mean, that is the thing that ruined their economy. Can go for this mid play. There's yeah. a rifle in the hands of Premier again. He has to be a solo player to really do the most. If Talon are 
able to pave their way at any portion of this round. Silver lining for them is that they're close, at least to the showstopper two away. Cover going out. But how many more chances are you going to get? The map is rapidly approaching the finale point. Center's going to be pressured. Oh, that's a huge knife. Maybe only tagging on to the one, not too sure. Grab that, sender. Avoids it. Paranoia is good as well. On to the nade. TPs have to be used to try and evacuate this space. He's got backup here. Crick kicks alongside it. Safe. Going to be throwing all sorts of util into the face of these players from Talon. Stunting them. Can't take a step forwards as well with that spike drop down, but it is going to be recovered. Well played by Sender in that spot. It was another good grab net, but he avoided it. Played in his teammates nicely. And Safe's going to take contact over here towards Eddie Link. He's to be the big player now. The team's going to be swinging off of that contact, making sure that they just turn them into mince meat. The ultimate of the showstopper. This is Vitality. They're going to take that early A main control and space. Flash to set it up one way now for Sender, so he's going to just maintain control of that one. It's good protocols from Vitality. We saw how easily basically Sender dealt with the Gravnet combo that was supposed to be clearing out of that spot. And in through mid, Ban. Going exploring, but as the gun sticks barely out, Safe is just trying to hunt him down and shut him down still. This is the danger zone, surely. You don't overextend right into this one, surely in the hands. Five bullets left. He is hard committed, and Ban still gets out with one. Pretty incredible from Ban there that he got that one to work with. But Talon get reset. They're worried about mid now. Vitality have shown presence in that area. Can Chip Boys poke out the A site and realize that all is safe, all is empty? It did pull Sender away. I think he was scurrying to try and at least help out with the Utah with the paranoia, right? And now that Kix is dead, no null command to stop Primmy's ult. So this showstopper, he can rip it whenever he likes. We'll see if Talon even hold on to it as well. It's an open side, they don't know that. They're going to be using it just to make sure it's fully cleared out. A lot of util left. alongside it. Even though the horn didn't get broken, it's paranoia too. The fuse is going to be running short. Not too many options available. Here onto the flank. This is an important one, safe. Just with the adjustment. First shot accuracy not quite there from Cruz, didn't land it to the dome. So we'll say finding that opener in the midway part of this round, going for re-exploration, in through the back of the site, very wide with the face and the movement, lovely still, but sprayed down nevertheless. Grouped up enough for Vitality to win this one, and now Vit at least Primi has to lock this one down, overdrive, damage done and still, yeah. Baits out the initial shots, Primi just couldn't stand still and hold his ground. Another 1v2 that's asked of him. A scenario that no team ever wants here. It's all about pulling yourself back up when you get knocked down, and Talon have struggled with that aspect of their game. Going for the replay now, though. Grab net. Just from the Prowler being broken. Paranoia! It's almost beautiful. In fact, it is. We're safe. The kill collected onto him. They're really nice. They knew that the Grab net was going to be good on the right side, but before they got punished by people from A-Link, this time that flash comes through from Jip Boys and allows Talon to follow up very nicely. They are adapting. The players are making adjustments. Is it too late? That's the question that's asked of them. Bad here in the footsteps. He's given away another kill. So four versus four. That's where we stand so far here into this round as an ult online for Jit Boys can be able to use this to get some information through into the back of the site. Big reveal. Ult's gonna be broken. They know that they're anchoring in, but it's going in pound for pound. Sender is also gonna be reinforcing this site up. This with a knife for scatters through! Oh my goodness, Sender delivers that death blow. Chip boys, surely too much to overcome and the timing couldn't be better from that. For Vitality, they can taste it. Victory, it's on the precipice. A lot of noise made here by Talon. Not much of a slow default being held. They are heavily grouped up now. Almost like they're going for the one last hurrah here. Yeah, not even any information on the other sides of the map, apart from that trip, which admittedly has not been broken. It looks like Cruz here is going to try to put some pressure on Descender, drag these players in the middle of the map over towards A so that they can make that B split easier. Up for mid as well, safe. That's composure. The steady hand with the Phantom in play. Two bullets does the job and drops Governor. First kill here for Vitality. Might be the beginning of the end here for Talent. They're left wandering, man. The recon as well. Finding ban. Go, go, go. Talon still committed to this B split. Players to meet them. Runner's been good. 
We've seen rounds like this, but this could be the tournament life of Talon just ending in the blink of an eye. It all comes down to this fight here. Contact to be caught by safe. Out through market. Maybe even expected he could have chopped it up already. Horned up and over. Stun. Lay it down. All intended just to slow this one to a crawl. Kicks already with an old command. It's waving out. It's emanating nobody to deal with a dart. And only two left to stand. Ban holds strong, but only for a moment before the nade removes him. And Chip Boys has to do the ultimate. It's all in his hands. It's all in his shoulders. And he is no long for this world. A 13-8 to finish this map. Vitality survive. Survive being an important word there. For safe, he lost zero in two in groups last year with Team Liquid. They were the number one seed. He was determined not to make that happen again. Facing elimination here today, they've sent Talon home in their place. A good run from Talon, honestly. Good that they pushed Vitality a little here on Sunset. Good that they were even here in the first place with how many rookies they had in that team. But they've fallen short of that high, high standard yeah. that Cruz and Frost set for them. Their year has ended. I'll be back to the drawing board thinking about 2025. You can see it in the body language. They hope for more from themselves today. They can take a bow, I think. They'll walk away from this, probably not in the here and now, but at least later on. I think being proud of some of their performances against some of the best in this tournament. But Vitality look like they're back, at least in terms of the calling and the way that they're operating. Definitely things that went wrong for them today. Going down negative five in first kills on map one, that's got to be something that they fix for the future. Oh yeah. But the way that they recovered in those moments, winning so many of the 3v5s, their attack side calling, the way that they navigated the threats on Sunset, there are a lot of positives to take away from this win. But it's still going to be tough for them to get out of groups. It's very, very tough. I mean, the job's not finished, is it? That's what Champs is all about as well, just fighting to survive sometimes for some of these teams. Disappointment settling on the face of some of the talent players, but Vitality at least to be happy with their performance today, happy with just winning this one out as well, keeping that tournament rung 